What is going on guys? So, I'm super excited about today's project. Probably ranks up there, probably top five projects I've done in terms of coolness on this channel, at least for me personally. Like just when you see how simple this project is and the effect it puts out, uh, it's just amazing. I'm still so fascinated with how this works. Um, so today, I'm gonna show you guys how you can make your very own like music activated laser lights out of a soda bottle, balloon, and a laser. It's gonna be a fun project. So a little bit ago, the King of Random uploaded a video demonstrating the principle of this thing that I'm about to show you. I'm sure you guys have all heard of them. Uh, I'll link the video down in the description. Inspiration comes from that video. But what I'm gonna do is change up the design um, so it actually fits in a really nice small compact package and show you guys how to do that on the cheap. Also, we're gonna change the type of laser up just a little bit. In my opinion, it gives a much better effect. So the only difficult thing to get your hands on in this build is, of course, the laser. Um, I'll link a couple down below. You can get them super cheap. I think the one I'm using is like $15. It's like a pretty high powered green laser. Um, but yeah, it was only like 15 bucks and the rest of the project was pretty much free. So you could call this like a $15 laser light show. Goes to the music. Like normally you have to pay like hundreds of dollars for something of this caliber. Plus it's super small, super portable. Ah, I love it. All right, yeah, I've hyped it up enough. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this already. Uh, actually there's a video and uh, yeah, let's get into this build. Next up guys, we're gonna need a mirror.
here is the final project. Pro product, let's see you pronounce it. Tiny little device. Kind of actually looks like a spotlight. Or actually now that I'm looking at it, it kind of looks like a fish almost. It's got two eyes right here. <sighs> like a mouth. Ah. Anyway. Uh, but it's more than just a fish. Uh, as you saw, this thing is made of a soda bottle, uh, a laser, and actually I did use a piece of a mirror down in there. Um, and like I used a couple ping pong balls to make it stand up. So yeah, soda bottle, like fuselage, I guess. I actually did use a plastic container that's the same size as a soda bottle. Uh, I think it originally had like almonds in it or something, I don't know. And what I did was stretched a balloon across that, cut a hole out in the bottom, and this is our resonation chamber. So you guys all know that sound waves are pretty much just pressure differences in air, compressing and decompressing super fast. Um, yeah, that's literally how sound works. When air hits it, it will shake the balloon back there. And uh, what we did was cut up a little part of a mirror and attach it to the balloon right in there. So whenever this balloon shakes, the mirror will wobble. And that is where we get our music activation uh, distortion of the laser. Over here we have our green laser. Uh, the one I'm linking down below, the attachment that gives it kind of like a star field view. Um, you guys will see in a minute, um, just refracts the beam in a bunch of different ways. And in my opinion, this makes the uh, laser show a lot cooler because it's everywhere instead of just one little dot on the wall doing something. We mounted this inside here at an angle. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because I actually wrapped this whole thing in a little bit of craft foam just to give it a better look. Um, and yeah, the ping pong balls are for support um, so it can stand up. Just like if you put it on a surface, it'll stand instead of rolling around and that's what they're for. In the video, I actually had to take apart my laser. Normally yours won't have that problem, uh, but regardless, we made it USB powered so it can literally plug in any old wall USB outlet, super versatile, or uh, for the speakers I'm using, it actually has a USB port right in there. So literally you can just plug this USB laser into the speaker and uh, have a completely portable light show for again like $15 project is so cool guys keep saying that but I really enjoy this one so you can use this project with any speaker uh, if you guys are interested I'll link this one down below Turcom Acoustashock I literally had this thing for like two three years almost has it broken water resistant shock resistant as you can see it looks like a glorified like, snowmobile tread but it's like a tank a good speaker Plus it bangs too. This thing will work with uh, any speaker because again, we're just using the uh, audio vibrations to actually move, mechanically move the mirror to make the laser move. Instead of actually turning the sound back into a digital signal and then uh, outputting another mechanical motion to make the laser move, um, this literally just goes straight in. Whatever sound waves it hears, it'll move the mirror accordingly and it'll shoot out the laser in a corresponding way that synchronizes with the music and looks freaking sweet. So, I think that's pretty much everything I needed to say about this. Oh yeah, one last thing. This rubber band right here, you guys might be wondering, literally just to hold on to the speaker, like it'll fit around the speaker and actually just hold it on. Um, you can just set it down next to the speaker and it still will work uh, pretty well, but if it's actually in contact with the moving surface, the vibrations will be much stronger and the laser effect will be much more prominent. Um, yeah, in my opinion, it just looks cooler. That is enough talking. Let's go see this device in action. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you did like it, 
come on, hit that thumbs up button, especially for this project. So freaking cool. $15 for a music activated laser show out of a soda bottle, some balloons, a mirror, and a cheap laser pointer. Can't ask for much cooler of a video than that. And if you have an idea, leave it down in the description below. I always love to hear your feedback. If you want me to do more with this like type of stuff, shout out once again to the King of Random for inspiring this project. Follow me on Instagram, at Jaylers of Video, for some uh, more behind the scenes updates like I posted for this project. Subscribe as well, if you're not, just a given. We're doing cool stuff like this all the time. I think I said everything I need to. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Oh,